Hey guys, Tricolio here back with another vid. Now I'm going to introduce you to a character by the name of Lyria. She is the event character for this event. And um, I'm going to do a bit different. <coughs> I'm going to do a bit different where I'm going to playtest this particular uh, character. I think I kind of got her pat down, but I haven't uncapped her properly. So let's get to it. Now before that, um, let's do a fate episode of her first before we playtest, alright? So... Um, let's get to it. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncap her first. Uh, because, um, I always feel it's better if she is uncapped and proper. And she's already almost to the level anyway. This is basically uh, a unique thing about Grammar Fantasy. Once you reach the third ascension, aka third uncap, you basically can have a different art. And it's amazing. Oh my god, it requires all the other animals. Wait, hold on. Am I enough? Yeah, might as well. Fully uncapped. Oh, okay. Now that's over and done. I'm going to go straight to the uh, fate episode of her as well. So I think I can make it quick. ま、守らなきゃいけねえもんがある。だから俺はもう引かねえよ。逃げねえし引かねえ。後ずさりもしねえ。お互い譲れないんだろ。だったらぶつかろうぜ全力でさやろうぜ正々堂々真剣勝負だ神だか聖少獣だか知らねえが遠慮なんかすんじゃねえぞ
<笑>やっぱりみんなすごいですカタリナもオイゲンさんもロセッタさんもみんなあなたの助けになっててああなたの助けに。ルリアおみんなのお話を聞いていてずっと変な感じがしてたんですん胸の奥がうずくような締め付けるような楽しいけどちょっとつらい感じずっとわからなかったけど今はわかった気がします私もあなたの役に立ちたいあいやいやまったくだぜ違うんですラカムさんやイオちゃんみたいにあなたと一緒に戦いたいんですえいや私だけ守られてばかりであなたを全然助けてません私だってみんなみたいにあなたを守りたいんですえー、っとおいおいそうだおそふすなおじさくん。はいお願いしますカタリナ先生ルリア行きます先生んええええいいいやーいやーびっくりですカタリナたちはこんな重たいものを振ってたんだえ,えそそうなんだなあなあそうだなうんまあまあまあまあおうはい一番軽くて扱いやすい銃を教えてもらいなさいって言われましたほらよわあ不思議な感じですここに指をかけて引くだけですごい攻撃ができるんですよねうわーちょっと触っただけなのにおいルリアルリア<笑>ごめんなさい指を離したんですけど全然止まってくれなくって私怖くなっちゃってどうしていいかわからなくて本当にごめんなさいああえいやそのお前が。俺は,はいわかりましたでももう銃はゴリゴリですんえおいラカ
Mama. こんなところかな。あれこれは雪あ違う羽かでもどうして夜に鳥さんなんて珍しいあったかいまるでお日様みたい<笑>なんだか不思議この羽を見ているとすごく落ち着くなあだ誰かいるんですかわざわざわざ今青き髪の少女ってそれじゃああの唯一無二の力って。ですか私知りたいんです<笑>やべえ姉さん若のやつに狙われてるぞなダメそそんなの絶対にダメあの時の感じそうだったんですね私はあの力に従えば私分かったような気がしますありがとうございます羽の人ってあれえっと誰でしたっけた
だぞ魔物だおうえっとあの私もさーてどでかい風穴よっしゃふう片付いたかさあ先を急ごうこりゃやべこれからは私いっぱい応援しますね私もあなたとずっと一緒ですオッケー、I got everything So, um, the Fate episode again basically gives you an extra story and what it also does is that it gives you an opportunity to learn a specific skill. So, for uh, Luria, her um, idea is that she has this fourth skill which is Enduring Earth, which has debuff and debuff, debuff resistance and uh, defense. So, you know what I'm going to do? <coughs> I'm going to use a half elixir and demonstrate. Let's see if I can do this. Ore o shitsuyo to shinai sora no sekai nado, muchakusha ni natte shimae ba.
Okay, about Luria, the I Luria or Luria, uh, her, the idea is that she cannot attack. Um, but what she can do is that she can use specific skills that allows her to regain her charge. So, for example, if I were to pick, there are four different types. One is Wind, which gives new image. Uh, dodging. Uh, Roaring Fire, which gives attack and critical hit. Uh, Healing Water basically restores our ally HP and gives you regen. Last but not least, the one I just got. So I'm just going to use this. And I'm going to skip this skip. Notice how she managed to get 30 extra charge attack. The no, charge gauge? Yes, that is what it means. Right? She will get her charge attack a little faster. That is to compensate the fact she couldn't attack. So, but she will still receive 10% uh, from the damage itself. So, let's do this. That is how she can uh, the she's you know fun time. This demo, okay, there's one good thing about Lugia, she can actually do two summons at once, so we say the main character has one, she has one, so you can put two, but well, I'm not going to use this summon yet. I'll demo it one at a time. So, let's just use the critical Another thing I must note, um, the weapon that the main character is using, the one I will check in the party later, is light, so Luria, because she's connected with the main character, will also receive light. Another thing to note as well is that once she dies or the M the main character dies, the vice versa will die. Let's say main character dies, she dies, and vice versa. So um, that's the, re the reason is because in the story, they are connected uh, for the first chapter. So. Um, in order to save his life, or her life, um, Luria has decided to give part of her essence to him or her, so that's one thing. Um, and also his, uh, because of that, her charge attack will also give the same element in which she is good, uh, she's at, and she gives the defense down. So I recommend putting her second so that the defense down applies so that the other two when they use charge attack burst, it will cause more damage. So. Um, let's get to the party, but I'm going to show you. So basically, um, in Luria's case, again, looking back into her status, she has this primeval dragon where uh, massive like massive damage to a foe and hit the defense. This is dependent on the element in which the main character equips. So if I were to demo for a while, um, let's see if I equip. Let's say water for the heck of the example.
Okay, water has been equipped. So if you go back to character, you will notice that the um, element of uh, Luria changed to water. So if you look at the status, it will also reflect back water. So um, in case if let's say that um, you do not have any um, element, uh, specific element like um, like a dark or light or whatever, she is a very good unit to be included. So for those who have not claimed her or get the get her in the event, get her as, as soon as possible. She has been a really help, good help for me uh, when I lack dark. And I'm gonna try out that in uh, another video or something. But um, that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Draco Leo signing out. Do subscribe if you guys love this kind of thing. Alright, catch you soon. Bye!